Hey guys, it's Brock here, and today I'm going to be reviewing iOS 11.0.3. guys, so as you guys have heard, iOS 11.0.3 was released very recently. Alright guys, so iOS 11.0.3's fixes are actually mainly focused on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 6S. Now the main problem that Apple fixed with iOS 11.0.3 had to do with haptic feedback. If you guys do look up the definition of haptic feedback, it will say, Haptic feedback, often referred to as simply haptics, is the use of sense of touch in a user's interface design to provide information to an end user. When referring to mobile phones and similar devices, this generally means the use of vibrations from the device vibration alarm to detonate that a touchscreen button has been pressed. Now that definition is a lot to take in, but pretty much what it's saying is that it's been having problems with sensitivity. I could go on a rant about the iPhone's sensitivity, but frankly, we don't have time for that. Guys, so when Apple actually releases an update for a version of their devices, they usually have statements they make. They made a few statements that confess a couple things that they did with the iPhone 6. Now, I'm going to read these quickly to you. This is a lot to take in, especially from the standpoint of a person who's bought an iPhone 6. Now, one of the things they addressed in their statement was... The issue where touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 6S displays because they were not serviced with genuine Apple parts. Now this statement is a lot to take in for developers like me, but if you guys do want to hear me rant about this, leave a like and I will make a rant video on this statement and what I feel about it because it's a lot to process. Now the second statement Apple made when they released iOS 11.0.3 was non-genuine replacement displays may have compromised visual quality and may fail to work correctly. Now this is something that actually you guys should be concerned about if your iPhone 6 has broken or the screen is cracked because they're pretty much saying in the statement that they, they made a glass that has the ability to break and they did not allow any other company to get that same exact glass so they can fix it and therefore give you the same quality picture on your iPhone screen. Now this third statement actually relates back to the second statement we just went over and it says Apple certified screen repairs are performed by trusted experts who use genuine Apple parts. So guys what this means in a nutshell is that the only people that will fix your phone with genuine Apple parts are the people at the actual Apple stores. Now these statements Apple made after release of iOS 11.0.3 affect the consumer and the developer. Now, I don't really like using endings of paragraphs, but I'm going to say it in conclusion, guys. iOS 11.0.3 had a lot of statements made upon release, and there are a lot of things that affect us consumers and developers. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Holy that's so long.